Effective leadership is powerful. Effective leadership has the ability to be transformational. When we lead our homes, our schools, our communities, we have the ability to affect positive change that makes things much better and much brighter. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but usually that's because there are a few skills and abilities that aren't being used to their full capacity. When you want to lead, you have to listen. Active listening is key. Then you have the ability to inspire and empower those around you. I grew up with my great aunt. My great aunt was definitely a leader in the home, as well as her husband, my great uncle. Most people knew them as my grandparents, but she was actually my grandmother's baby sister. So I grew up in their home, my mother and I, and other family members. So it was always a full house. There was always a lot of things going on, but she always led by example. I can recall one time being in the office with her. Uh, I was, that was my first job, was at her office. She had founded nonprofits, a couple of them. I can recall being in her office one day and the probation officer who was a friend to the organization brought in a young man. Now this young man had gotten himself into a little bit of trouble and the probation officer just wanted my great aunt to say a few words to him. And so they went in the office. I stepped out for a few minutes, let them have their private meeting. And the meeting did not last no more than 10 minutes. But at the end of that 10 minutes, he walked out crying and she was in her office crying. Now, I knew the effect she had on people, whether you were good or bad. <laughs> But I asked her, because I could see his face. He was very emotional. But he had a, a solemn look, but it looked like it was going to be OK. So I asked her, well, what did you say to him that had him in tears? Because I'm used to being in tears, but I'm not used to seeing other people in tears. And she said, well, I asked him a few questions. And I just reminded him that we are all an imperfect people. And I let him know that what he did might have been wrong, but that he had the ability to change his life. And that tomorrow the sun would come up. I never forgot those words. Um, you know, because she said a lot of different things to me growing up, which I just thought, okay. <laughs> but that's how we are sometimes. Sometimes we don't realize things, words that are important until years later. So that young man went on to do good things in his life. He wrote letters to my great aunt years later, showing where he had changed his life around. And those letters she would get from multiple people, but they always had a special effect on her. It would make her feel so good. That, in essence, is good leadership. Listening to what someone has to say, inspiring them and empowering them to do better for themselves as well as their, their families and their communities. Things don't always go that way though. I was once in a meeting, actually I co-chaired a meeting, and things would sometimes get contentious in the meeting because the sides did not agree. There were community members, organizations, governments, different representatives at the meeting. So things didn't always go quite so well, but at the end, we would tackle the task and set the agenda for the next meeting. And we did get things accomplished. Well, something happened one instance where I think truth wasn't told. Uh, so at the next meeting, a manager who usually did not attend the meetings attended this particular meeting. Now, as soon as this person walked in the office 
into this meeting. This person says, I will not apologize. I will sit down and I will listen, but I will not apologize. So many in the room were just stunned because we were very jovial and cordial at the beginning of each meeting. Hi, how was your weekend? You know, so to start off a meeting like that changed all the energy in the room. The rest of the meeting was pretty quiet. People had questions on how could you come and say that? Didn't go quite so well. This manager did not listen. This manager surely did not inspire anyone on that day. And this manager did not empower anyone. So when being a good leader, those skills are necessary. There are multiple studies that show two of the qualities that many leaders lack, <laughs> active listening, maybe not so surprising, <laughs> but also empathy, lack of empathy. It is very important to listen so then you can understand where everyone is coming from. Now these skills are beneficial, again, in our own homes, in our schools, in our communities, and in our workplace. They're not subject to just being useful in one area of our lives. So at work one day, I had a meeting with a young lady and we talked about a project we were working on. But after we finished discussing this project, she says, well, I want to talk to you about something. I um, have been thinking about going to grad school to get our postdoctorate. I said, okay, sounds good. She says, well, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Now this young lady was bright, extremely bright. She was born and raised in an underserved part of town where unemployment rates were high, graduation rates were low, but she succeeded. She graduated high school with honors. She had gotten her bachelor's degree with honors and she was currently uh, getting her master's degree. So I didn't see really what the question was. <laughs> like, if you want to do it, go for it. But she says, well, no, I'm thinking about it because my friends, they're getting married they're having kids, they're going out every weekend. I said, okay, <laughs> you are not gonna miss any of that. She said, but yeah, also, I love my books. I love my academic books. Then really I was like, okay, if you love your books, there's no question here. She said, but I don't know anyone else who's going to get a PhD or a MD. I said, you will meet those people, apply. <laughs> So, you know, a few years later, we, we lost contact after our project work was done. But a few years later, through a mutual friend, I learned that she had gone on to get her PhD and that she wanted to tell me thank you because I had a huge impact on her decision to apply. Now, that made me feel just ecstatic. I was so excited. I really wasn't surprised though, because she was so smart, but that she still needed a push and I was able to provide that push for her. That made me feel very good. One thing my great aunt always told me was sometimes the work is not easy, but if you can affect one life for the better, you're gonna see it's all worth it. Now, when she told me that, I think I was fresh out of college and I was like, I don't know about that because I saw how she was at meetings all day long and tired, but she loved what she did. And she had a purpose and she would always say, I'm doing this for the people. I'm doing this to better our community. She's been gone a few years, but those words of hers, I think about daily. So for us to be better together, 
We have to listen to each other, take the time to inspire each other, and then we will empower each other to be better together. Thank you.